Good afternoon, this is Judge Kelsey here for the Outback Special. Today we have on trial Colin the Cane Toad via Skype. He is representing the many cane toads here in Australia. Colin is here today to face up to all of the damage he and his family have caused to the Australian environment. Colin, what do you have to say for yourself? Why were you brought here? Well, first off, I would like to say I am totally innocent. I didn't choose to come here. My great-great-great-grandfather, the Honourable Mr Toad, was one of the special 100 cane toads selected to come to Australia in 1935. We were brought in to stop the cane snails that were plaguing the sugar canes in northern Queensland. Well, unfortunately your family didn't do a very good job of getting rid of those snails. So if your family came from Queensland, then why are you all the way in WA now? Well, you can't expect us to stay in one place, can you? We started out in Queensland all those years ago, and now my family is spread over 1.2 kilometres over the eastern parts of Australia, and I am one of the very few who have braved the borders and made it to WA. Hopefully, my family will find me here soon. They're moving westward 40 to 60 kilometres every year. Well, I definitely don't want them to make it here. You and your family have had a terrible effect on our natural wildlife. Your toxic secretions have caused many deaths of our native animals and reptiles. For example, blue tongue lizard sightings have declined by 50% since your arrival. You have overtaken small birds' nests with your huge population size, leading to a decline in numbers for birds such as the rainbow bee eaters. And not only that, the northern quoll population has declined by 75% since your family's arrival here. Whoops. Whoops is not good enough, Colin. You and your family must go. Our native species will not survive with you here. You will be sentenced to the death penalty. Now decide what to do. Do you know what used to happen to toes like you, Colin? Please don't. Well, I know you humans enjoy a spot of cane toad golf or cane toad cricket. My uncle was killed that way. Poor Uncle Charlie. I don't want to be put in a freezer either. I've heard it doesn't actually knock us out like people used to believe, but it's really painful and a drawn-out process. That one happened to my mother. There's also this gel you humans used to use, benzocaine or something, and that seemed like an okay way to go for a while, but apparently it's also really long and drawn out. Not a nice feeling. And please, please, please don't use Dettol on me. That happened to a few of my brothers, watching them turn pink and blistered and suffer for almost 30 minutes was terrible. You think we're bad for killing animals? What about you people? Don't worry Colin, nothing like that will happen to you. There are a lot more humane ways of implementing the death penalty now. The government has produced guidelines on this matter instructing us on what to do. One method we could use is to knock you out using blunt force and then decapitate your head. Not that one. I like my head. Hmm, okay. What about gassing with carbon dioxide? I've heard that's extremely effective and you fall straight asleep. Although, we need to make sure you're in there for more than four hours or else you wake up again. Or maybe you'd like to be sprayed with a product called Hop Stop. That will knock you out straight away and you won't even know what's happened to you. Well, they sound a bit better, I guess. I'm sure you could do better, though. What research has been done on eliminating us? Well, I'm glad you asked, Colin. There has been plenty of research on you lot. For example, a group of scientists from Sydney University have discovered that leaving cat food near watering holes attracts black ants. These black ants like eating baby toads like you. And they are no threat to our native frogs since they hop away once attacked, whilst your species stays still. There has also been research into genetic modification, so you lose your immunity to your poison and are killed by your own sword, as they say. There have also been viruses produced to result in a mass extinction, but sadly, nothing has been successful so far. Hmm, maybe I don't want any more research. Colin, as charming as you are for a cane toad, we simply cannot let you and your family spread across this country any longer. The destruction that you have caused to our native wildlife population may never be repaired. There needs to be more research and ways to humanely get rid of your species, as I do not condone excess violence or torture. Therefore, this case is definitely not closed. So you're probably wondering how this is related to the Australian curriculum. 
This is related to the biological sciences part of science understanding. This is due to the study of toxic secretion of cane toads and how they help them survive in the environment, and also the study of genetic modification in the control of cane toads with viruses and gene suppression. It also relates to the chemical sciences part of science understanding. This is due to the understanding of how carbon dioxide affects the cane toads and also the properties of the other gases used to euthanize them. For the use and influence of science under science as a human endeavor, this study helps students realize the effects of our actions, such as the effect of introducing cane toads into our Australian environment. It also recognizes the science used to find solutions for this environmental problem and the ethical implications that are needed to be considered. Under the science and inquiry skills part of the curriculum comes questioning. This investigation used mind mapping and questions to guide the research. For planning, the methodology was used to structure the research. Processing and analysing data was used in interpreting graphs on the spread of cane toads in Australia. Evaluating involves suggesting ways to solve the problem and finally communicating, which I am doing now, using my information and relaying it to others. This was also related to literacy for writing the report and also geography for determining the locations on the maps. This also relates to the concept of sustainability, as we need to find a balance between the economic viability of research attempts, environmental considerations and also the ethical considerations. My wish or challenge was condensing everything that I'd researched into a short video and coming up with an engaging way of presenting my information, although this relates to my first star. My first star involved learning how to use different media types to present an idea. I had lots of fun making the video using media types such as iMovie and Photoshop. My second and final star was realising how we can break down tasks such as a 3,000 word report for students and make it an enjoyable learning experience for them where they can take away skills to use later in life. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. 